PayPals. So here we are. Trying to film my video in between um, absolutely fucking pouring rain. So if at any point you can hear the rain, I'm sorry, but I'm doing my best. October has been a rainy month. Writer here coming at you with Nano Rai Mo. So I'm gonna quickly say right now, I don't like saying it like that. My brain automatically kind of just says Nano Rai Month. So I'll probably end up saying that a lot through the video. And I also can't remember what that stands for. So this is a really great start to my video. But basically I'm going to do Nano Rai Month. Or at least try. But I'm not going to do the typical like full novel in a month. I have the kind of aim of trying to write daily would be nice of like a hundred words but I'm also going to like allow myself to catch up because I have done these writers retreats online which I did a video about that when I do those I get like a pretty decent chunk of writing done so like it, it tends to do around two to three thousand words when I do one of those writers retreats so my general aim for the month is like 3,000 words overall for November. So I know I could quite easily make that up. I'm working on something I've already started. You know, I like to try and give myself attainable goals <laughs> because I have been that person who gives myself crazy ridiculous goals, never reaches them and then gets depressed and then does it again and just gets more depressed. So I just want to give myself this kind of focus for November of actively trying to get some writing for my work in progress. Done. That was not a finished sentence. Good job me. Because I tend to get like a little lost. I get a bit overwhelmed. I end up feeling like I have so many things I need to do or finish or whatever. Um, and then I kind of just don't get anything done or I only get like small things done or like really unimportant, unhelpful things done. So I just want to give myself a focus this month on writing, creative writing. So that's my goals for my work in progress. Um, I might also maybe track the writing I do for like blog posts just to see how I'm doing. I want to try and get like a an idea for what I'm doing this month on my blog because I've been a bit uninspired across all platforms really because um like I said I'm not really going and doing it much at the moment. I'm mostly just inside watching TV, maybe listening to podcasts watching YouTube, you know, I don't really, I'm not really doing anything much at the moment. There's not a lot happening with doctors and such right now to talk about. I was thinking of maybe doing some like writing sprint live streams maybe. So let me, let me know, let me know down below what you think. Um, I won't be planning when they happen um I'll, but i'll probably post on like twitter or instagram that i'm going to go live on youtube to do that so if you want to join me follow those um social media profiles and everything will be linked down below um you know and just sort of hang out do some writing experiment with the live stream thing i see a lot of people in like the book and writing community doing them i have a very minimal following but you know i just want to give it a go just give it a go i might pick up one of the writers retreat workshop things again this month depending on how i'm doing we'll see but yeah so i'm working on my novel idea that i've had for like probably fucking six years or more um, I started writing it before I went to uni, then I started to rewrite it at uni, then I just completely fucking scrapped it like three times and started again. Um, and I'm roughly at about 6,000 words and I want to use it for like master's applications. I think you've probably heard me talk about this a million and one times, but 
it's relevant this time and like there's a minimum of like a certain amount of words that I think I have reached but also I would just really like to get as much of a draft done before applications for masters are even a thing for me because right now with the world the way it is I don't know if I'll even fucking bother you know like it's definitely being put off until maybe this time next year maybe later but I'm, I'm thinking of doing like a video series as well on the application process and what I'm looking for and stuff like that as like a disabled student so if you're interested in that let me know I have started filming it just in case but let me know if that's something you'd like to see um, because I know there's a lot of like study YouTubes and stuff like that and college YouTubers that end up being quite mainstream but not many of them talk you know aren't not many of them are disabled or they don't talk about if they are and that's like a really big thing for me very important for me to figure out how to work with my disabilities and university so that's kind of why I wanted to make that video series I had like a <laughs> one of my online friends one of my blogging friends Ashley who lives in Ireland read my work in progress recently and I <laughs> I gave like a summary sort of thing of how I kind of how I summarize what the story I'm writing is about um so it's kind of like how confusing it is being queer uh as like a young adult from like do I fancy my friend to am I about to be hate crimes <laughs> and it's supposed to be kind of like an angsty romance for people in their 20s and how this book idea is kind of stemmed into like a three book series <laughs> so I have like three books ideas planned from this first novel but I need the first novel to be able to write the other two <laughs> so yeah I, I just want to try and actually get this written and like my story has changed so many times that a couple of side characters at the very beginning of when I first developed this who weren't ever going to really be that important in the book are actually kind of now like leading sidekicks um, and are the comic relief basically um, and they're kind of like the token straight couple but they're not really straight either because from outside looking in they appear to be a cis pet couple um but the girlfriend is a bisexual woman um and the boyfriend is a trans man but he is straight you know like my my books are not <laughs> My books are not cishet, honey. <laughs> and even when you think they are, they really fucking aren't. Like, <laughs> and like my main character is just kind of like a messy bisexual with commitment issues. Can anybody say me? <laughs> and I have like a lot of other characters in the friendship group who are quite very different from each other they're they all very different backgrounds uh, i have a character who is arabic and gay the main character's best friend is black and queer but kind of like he thinks he's gay but it's kind of flexible he finds out um and he has a trans brother and it all kind of ends in like a christmas romantic feel good <laughs> kind of that's the, how the ending is like Christmas snow happiness romance and the book sort of starts at the end of summer right as they start their next year of university into new year and then yeah so that's my current work in progress 
book two will have the main character from book one in it but like a different set of main characters and then the book three will go back to the original lot of people again but five years later um, and seeing just how different things are because a lot of a lot of shit happened bro some of the happily, happily ever afters did not last but you know this is life real life people don't always stay together so I, I wanted to I I want to kind of bring a mixture of like realism but also the fun romantic aspect of straight books to the queers you know so that's that's what's going on that's what i'm doing this month i filmed this a few days before november starts a few days what day is it yeah i'm I, i'm filming this on the 28th of october but that there we go leave a like on this video comment down below if you're doing nano rye month let me know if any of the things i mentioned are of interest to you so i can repair and film them um and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me uh, and me just talking absolute fucking shit about disabled stuff queer stuff books and i'll see you next week bye